The member from London West. Uh, thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Acting Premier. Last week, London Health Sciences Centre Mental Health ER was at 146 per cent capacity, with 18 patients waiting for beds. This was not an isolated spike. As this Liberal government knows, this has been the reality in London for years. Yet the Ministry continues to sit on a pilot project proposal that was, sub that was submitted by my community last fall to allow ambulance transfer of non-acute mental health and addiction patients directly to their crisis centre instead of the hospital emergency room. I understand there was a meeting last week with ministry staff at which several options were discussed. What was not discussed was the pilot proposal itself. What my community wants to know is, is this pilot project on or off the table as a solution to the mental health crisis in London? Mr. of Health, Long-Term Care. Well, Mr. Speaker, we, we love the pilot project. We just want to support it without breaking the law. Yeah. And so, Mr. Speaker, so earlier this year, we put together a proposal uh, that was rejected by uh, the local community that if the centre came under the corporate structure of the hospital, we would be able to implement that pilot project immediately, Mr. Speaker. I know that uh, later this week, the member opposite uh, will be briefed by my ministry uh, on all options uh, within uh, existing uh, legislative opportunities uh, on how we might proceed with what we all agree is an important project that needs to be further supported. Uh, and I'd remind the member opposite that it was this government uh, two years ago, I believe, that invested $1.2 million to create Answer. the crisis centre that she is talking about in the first place. We're committed to it. We've demonstrated our commitment, and we're continuing to work Thank with you. that centre in the Lynn. Supplementary. Again to the Acting Premier, as the capacity crisis at the hospital keeps getting worse, patients are suffering more, offload delays are getting longer, and the costs associated with ambulances having to wait at the hospital are increasing. The pilot project could divert as many as 3,000 people a year from the hospital ER, generating savings of two. $2.5 million. Instead of waiting six hours or more to be seen at the hospital, a patient could access care at the crisis centre in as little as 20 minutes. Speaker, this pilot project could be in place within a month, providing an immediate solution to ease some of the pressure on the hospital ER. Will this Liberal government commit to doing whatever is necessary to allow the pilot project to proceed? Well, Mr. S Mr. Speaker, we, we, there's, you know, there's no argument in terms of the value of what is being proposed. However, the regulatory fix that the member opposite has promulgated just doesn't work within the confines of the existing legislation. And were we to take a legislative approach, it could take many months for that process to reach its conclusion. However, at, I asked the ministry to brief me on this issue last week. They did. I then asked them with the several suggestions for uh, promoting it that had come forward for them to brief the proponents in the field, Mr. Speaker, together with the Lynn. They're doing that this week. The member opposite is, bring, is being briefed tomorrow, Mr. Speaker, and I'm confident that if we work in a participatory way without thinking that there's some quick fix to this, particularly given the absence of workable ideas yes, that she's brought forward, I'm confident that we can actually support this. Yeah.